Hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss whether someone can change their status from a B1, B2 visa to an F1 student visa. We actually get this question a lot. We had it a couple of times just this week. Uh, from folks who are concerned, they have a visitor's visa. They don't know whether they can change their status to that of an F1 student visa. So we're going to go into that further today. Again, my name is Dan Nast. I'm an immigration attorney with Orlando Visa Lawyer, which is an immigration law firm that provides services across the entire United States. And today we're answering the question, can someone with a B1, B2 visa come to the United States on that visa and change their status to an F1 student visa? And just a quick recap, uh, the B1, B2 um, is a type of non-immigrant visa. It's for temporary visits to the U.S. Um, B1, of course, is for limited business purposes. B2 is for tourism. Um, and, you know, as with any visa, you're not allowed to exceed the scope of your visa. So it's limited as to what you can do. Um, an F1 visa is a visa for someone to enter the U.S. Um, to pursue a course of study towards a degree, uh, diploma certificate, has to be f at an approved institution. Um, so the, the school must be authorized to accept international students. It's a way for a student to come here and study. So getting to the main question of the day, can someone on a B1, B2 visa come to the United States and change their status to an F1 student visa? And the answer to that question is yes, as long as their current B1, B2 visa is valid. It gets a little confusing in the websites and whatnot, but you are actually able to do this. Um, but, but, uh, under a B1, B2 visa, you cannot enroll in school or attend school until you have uh, received approval of your status change to that of an F1 student. So um, there's a few steps to this process. Um, so if you're looking, you come to the U.S. On a, on a B1, B2 visa, you're looking to change to an F1, the first thing you must do is you must apply for and receive acceptance from an SEVP certified school. So there are certain schools that are allowed to take students in, international students in. You have to receive, apply for and receive acceptance from one of those schools. Then you need to obtain what's called an I-20 form from that school. Um, you also have to pay an I-901 fee. Um, this is a fee associated with the Department of State for going through this entire process. Then what you're going to have to do is file an I-539 and pay the appropriate fees with USCIS to change your status to an F-1 student visa. Now there are some caveats as always, there's technicalities to these visas, so always consult with an immigration attorney if you're thinking of changing your status from that of a tourist visa to an F-1 student visa. Uh, one caveat you may run into, um, typically USCIS is only going to approve your F-1 visa up to 30 days before your program starts. So up to 30 days before school starts is when your visa is going to actually be, your F-1 status is actually going to be good for. So you may need to keep your um, tourist, your B-1, B-2 visa good up to that period. So there may be a gap depending on when your visa, your current tourist visa, your B-1, B-2 expires. So you may need to end up actually filing an I-539 during this process to extend your B visa and cover any kind of gaps there may be. So like I said, be sure to consult with an immigration attorney. If you're thinking going through this process, they can help guide you through it. Um, again, if you have questions, uh, concerns, or, or if you think you are uh, considering applying or changing your status from a B-1 to a tourist visa, be sure to click the link below, schedule a consultation with us. Um, you can schedule a quick free 15 minute call with us and we can discuss your issues. Or if you have further questions, be sure to leave them down below in the comments and you know, maybe we'll make a video answering your question.